a reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is of course required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me. But I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday is taken from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We are reflecting on the theme, Searching for the Lord, Seeking the Lord. Now, in the first reading from Isaiah, the occasion for seeking the Lord was suffering. And the way that seeking was expressed was, Has the Lord forgotten us? And God affirmed His constant love and presence. God can be found. He is there. He is dependable. But we see the context is that of suffering. Suffering impels a people to seek for God, the consoler, the parent, like a mother. In the second reading, we shift to the context of an apostle who has to preach the gospel as a missioner and also who must uh, administer in a way, supervise the Christian community that is formed by their common response of faith to God in Jesus Christ. In this context, we find St. Paul expressing another way of seeking the Lord. And it is this. He is willing to count on the Lord to judge him. As an apostle, Paul has been subjected to so many trials, one of which was the division in the Corinthian community. And this division was due to preferences and loyalties of people. Some were for him, others were against him. Some were for Apollos, some were for Cephas. And those who were against him had some harsh words about him as an apostle, about his way of dealing with the community. And it is in this context of, again, trial, suffering, on account of his mission, that St. Paul now calmly seeks God, who will be a just judge. Wow! Seeking the Lord to judge me. Do you want the Lord to judge you? Normally, we would run away from a judge. We don't seek a judge. We don't want someone who might expose us to a truth that would compromise us. But St. Paul, with a pure heart, a clear conscience, he says, I do not even pass judgment on myself, even if other people are passing judgment on him and other people are passing judgment on each other. He seeks the Lord in what form? As a judge who sees my heart, who knows my heart, and therefore knows the truth about me. And I am willing 
to be judged by the Lord. And if I am innocent, then let the Lord render me praise and affirmation. Seeking the Lord not only for comfort, as we find it in the first reading, seeking the Lord to vindicate me in truth, Seeking the Lord who knows me through and through. And so I have the confidence to face Him. I rely on Him to be my judge. Other judges might manipulate the truth about me. But I seek the Lord who is not only all-knowing, but is all-just, all-true. So, before Him, I can stand. And I will be given the justice and the vindication that I deserve. My dear brothers and sisters, I think St. Paul is leading us to an important search for God. Seek the justice of God. For God is the one who knows everything. And as a loving God, He will be fair. He will judge us in truth and in love.